Hello everyone, this is Saurian Target coming back at you with another Carnivore's Top 5 video, where today, we are going to be looking at the top 5 weapons available in the Carnivore's games. So basically, what this top 5 list is, in my opinion, the best weapons in the Carnivore's games. Now these are the weapons that are the most effective and balanced, the most fun to use, and the ones that are so good that they keep reappearing throughout the series. And remember, this list is all-encompassing, so it includes the original trilogy of Carnivore's games, Cityscape, the mobile ports, and the reboot for PS3 and PC. So without further ado, let's begin. So coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the Shotgun. The shotgun is a very effective close combat weapon, and has seen perhaps the most evolution throughout the Carnivore's franchise. The original C1 shotgun, although it looked like a pump shotgun, was in fact semi-automatic, and was very good at taking down a charging Carnivore. In Carnivores 2, the shotgun became a pump shotgun. It was just as loud and powerful. The C2 shotgun became less precise, and, due to its pump action, slower to fire. By the time Cityscape rolled around, the shotgun had once again become semi-automatic, featuring a drum magazine for mowing through hordes of dinosaurs. While the shotgun is a powerful and popular weapon, it does have some shortcomings. Firstly, it is very loud. This is never a good thing when the local wildlife has learned to associate the sound of a gunshot with either fleeing for their lives or with an easy meal. The shotgun also uses buckshot, which means you have to be really close in order for it to be effective. This provided some nice contrast between it and the crossbow and carnivores, but simultaneously kind of maligned it to a last resort weapon, which places the shotgun at number 5. So coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the sniper rifle. Now, personally, I hate the sniper rifle. In the older games, I found it to be weaker than I imagined the final weapon should be, which was disappointing. Now, in the reboot, it's too overpowered, but I'm going to try and keep my bias out of this one. The sniper rifle is an effective weapon for those with good aim and steady hands, who prefer long-range killing. Find a nice, safe spot, pull out the sniper, and pick off your targets with ease from over a mile away. The big problems with the sniper rifle is that it, like the shotgun, is very loud. Make sure your first sniper shot counts, because you may not get a second. While you might be able to pick off a running herbivore with it, killing a charging carnivore with a sniper rifle is extremely hard to do. And like I said earlier, the sniper in the new games is too OP. While I've since come to appreciate the sniper in the older games, in Carnivore's HD and Reborn, the sniper makes hunting too easy. Throw on the radar, bring your sniper rifle, and you eliminate any skill needed for a hunt. It is, however, the big bad weapon that everyone grinds for. And the reboot sniper has, I think, either jagged or shark engraved in Greek on its side, which is awesome. So the sniper rifle comes in at number 4. So coming in at the number 3 spot, we have the revolver from Carnivore's HD and Reborn. Now, when deciding this list, it came down to a close match for this spot between the C2 pistol and the revolver, because they're both very similar handguns, and I know there's a lot of love for that pistol out there. But the revolver ultimately won for one reason, mobility. See, with the pistol, like the other original Carnivore's weapons, you were essentially locked in one place and doomed to a slow speed while using the pistol. With the revolver, you can run and fire at the same time, or even just have the thing out while you sprint away from that charging Ceratosaurus. Plus, I just love that reload animation. And that's why the durable, powerful, and lightweight revolver comes in at number 3. Coming in at the number 2 spot, we have the double-barreled shotgun, the stereotypical weapon used during big game safaris. This weapon was kind of just alright at first. The double-barreled shotgun is very powerful, and the reload animation is awesome. But it takes so long when you have a charging carnivore to deal with. You get two shots, then you have to frantically panic while you reload as that ceratosaurus gets closer and closer. What makes a double-barreled shotgun number two on this list is its appearance in the mobile games. See, in the mobile ports, the developers removed the double-barreled shotgun's reload animation, making it completely semi-automatic. This turns it into a weapon with the power of the double-barreled shotgun and the rate of fire of the rifle and one that is actually worth the 150 credit price tag. As soon as you unlock the double-barreled shotgun on the mobile ports, get it, and you can rack up kills and points very quickly. And that's the fact that puts the double-barreled shotgun at number two. Now, before we get to the number one pick on this list, I want to make an honorable mention. The crossbow, or the expo, depending on what you want to call it. I'm going to call it the expo because it looks like an X, and that's what I called it when I was a kid. 
The X-Bow is a pretty powerful weapon, and is dead silent, which is great, but it's still very tricky to aim, and takes some real skill, or sheer dumb luck, to pull off a successful kill. The reboots brought the crossbow back as a modern style variant. This version is still very tricky to fire, as a bolt drop has to be taken into consideration when aiming and firing. This requires a lot of skill to pull off, and makes using the crossbow very fun and challenging, which is why it's my weapon of choice in Carnivores Reborn. And so I believe it deserves this honorable mention spot. And now, the number one weapon in the Carnivores franchise is... The Cityscape Pistol. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's the rifle. There's something about the rifle that's just so well done. It's so well rounded and balanced. Good power, good accuracy, good rate of fire, appropriate volume. This is probably the best pick up and go weapon you can get. It's not overly loud or limited in range like the shotgun or sniper rifle, and it's not tricky to aim like the crossbow. It's a nice, simple weapon that gets the job done. Plus, the HD and Reborn rifle has some cool engravings on it. The back left barrel engraving reads C1 Dino Slayer Limited Edition, probably referencing its similarities to the C1 shotgun, while the back iron sights engraving reads RPTR2-23. This could mean a number of things. RPTR could be Raptor abbreviated, 2 referencing Carnivores 2, and 23 could be the 32 of FMMUV32 swapped. Ultimately, who knows, because that has little to do with the true meat of why the rifle is the number one carnivore's weapon. So there you go, guys. Those are my views on what I consider the top five weapons in the carnivore's franchise. But what did you think of the list? Were there any weapons that I forgot or would have made a better contender for the number one spot? What's your favorite weapon to use in the carnivore series? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys next time.